Elaine McDougall, and I teach in the English department and uh, direct the Writing Center through the Academic Success Center at UMBC. So I'm happy to share a 15-minute practice with you this morning. And we're going to start by lying down on our backs. So when you're ready, you can just bring yourself onto your mat, lie down onto your back, feel free to have a pillow or a blanket if you would like that for relaxation. Just let your legs relax, feet can fall out to the sides, arms down by your sides. So find this place of relaxation here for yourself. Let your shoulders relax. All the body, just relax. And as we lie here, just allowing yourself to let go a little bit of whatever is currently happening in your life. Maybe it could be work life, personal life. Just starting to be in the present, be in the now, enjoy the present, enjoy the now. And as you relax here, I'd like to offer a reading from Thich Nhat Hanh's book, Peace is Every Step. And it's called 24 Brand New Hours. Every morning when we wake up, we have 24 brand new hours to live. What a precious gift. We have the capacity to live in a way that these 24 hours will bring peace, joy, and happiness to ourselves and others. Peace is present right here and now, in ourselves and in everything we do and see. The question is whether or not we are in touch with it. We don't have to travel far away to enjoy the blue sky. We don't have to leave our city or even our neighborhood to enjoy the eyes of a beautiful child. Even the air we breathe can be a source of joy. We can smile, breathe, walk, and eat our meals in a way that allows us to be in touch with the abundance of happiness that is available. We are very good at preparing to live, but not very good at living. We know how to sacrifice 10 years for a diploma and we are willing to work very hard to get a job, a car, a house, and so on. But we have difficulty remembering that we are alive in the present moment, the only moment there is for us to be alive. Every breath we take, every step we make can be filled with peace, joy, and serenity. We need only be awake, alive in the present moment. The small book is offered as a bell of mindfulness a reminder that happiness is possible only in the present moment. Of course, planning for the future is part of the life. But even planning can only take place in the present moment. This book is an invitation to come back to the present moment and find peace and joy. I offer some of my experiences and a number of techniques that may be of help. But please do not wait until finishing this book to find peace. Peace and happiness are available in every moment. Peace is every step. We shall walk hand in hand. Bon voyage. So again, that's from Thich Nhat Hanh's book, Peace is Every Step. So thinking about those words and how they resonate with you and maybe where you are in the present moment. Let's see if you can very mindfully bring yourself right here, right now to this practice, to the breath, maybe even placing a hand on your belly or your chest or both, and really feeling the rise and fall of the belly and the rise and fall of the chest as you breathe.
And knowing that that is all you need to do right now is just breathe. So slowly start to let the shoulders release. Let the arms relax and release. Let the hands, the fingers, the wrists, just all relax and release. No work to be done. And just let the chest relax and release. Let the ribs, the belly, the hips, all release and relax. Let the legs start to relax. The knees, the shins, the ankles, the feet. toes, full body relaxes, whole body releases, tap into your mind, the thoughts, without changing, without judging, just notice. Take a nice deep breath in. And really exhale that breath, just with intention, let it go. Notice how you feel after being in this place of rest for a few moments. And let's just do a little bit of gentle movement here. So Let's bring the right knee up into the chest and give it a squeeze and hug it in. Let that leg stretch up towards the sky, point your toes maybe down towards your body. And you can hold on to the back of the leg and just give it a nice stretch here. Go ahead and bend the right knee and release that right leg back down to the mat. And let's take the left knee into the body, squeeze it in. Breathe into the lower back. And then let that leg come up towards the sky and maybe hold on to the back of the leg, squeeze it in. Bend through the knee and release the left leg down to the mat. And then let's take both knees up into the body, squeeze them in, and maybe rock side to side.
and then take your legs so your knees are apart and maybe you can hold on to the shins or outsides of the feet or the big toes so whatever works for you and we're just bringing the knees down towards the the ribs to the side and maybe again a little gentle rock from side to side we call this happy baby pose Nice gentle little stretch here for the hips. Beautiful. Let's take both legs straight up overhead. Just let the blood kind of flow from the feet down to the body. We call these inversions in yoga. Good for the blood flow. Just holding the legs here for a few breaths. Then we're gonna start to bend the knees, bring the feet down onto the mat. Beautiful. Let's just gently, so we have our knees bent here. Kind of into in towards the body a little bit. Maybe you can touch the backs of your heels, maybe not. So just kind of bringing them closer to the body as you can. We're gonna start to press through the feet and lift up through the hips. And then slowly release the hips back down to the mat. This time we're gonna incorporate the arms. So as we lift up on the hips, we're gonna lift our arms up overhead and stretch up and over and then slowly release everything back down to the mat and just take a couple rounds here bringing the arms up and over and then releasing down towards the mat we call this a flowing bridge pose so just kind of getting stuff moving a little bit We'll just do a few more rounds, going at your own pace, taking breaks if you need them. All right, and the next time you lower everything down to your mat, just rest here. And then maybe roll yourself over to one side and gently press up to a seated position. So you can sit with your legs crossed here if you like. Or your legs straight out in front, whatever is comfortable for you. And we'll just start to close out the practice here, sitting up nice and tall, arms to your sides. Let's lift up and overhead. Palms can come together. Exhale down to your heart. We'll do that two more times. Palms open up and overhead. Gather goodness, gather what you want in those palms and bring that intention down to your heart. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Bring the palms together. Exhale, right down into your heart. Find gratitude here for yourself. All the things you do, all the things you are. Find gratitudes for those who you love. And find gratitude for all those in the world. And thank you all so much for joining me for our practice this morning. I hope you all stay well, stay healthy. Namaste.